Garland police arrested a man wanted for deadly road rage shooting on 635 that happened last year. Police finally caught up to Devonte Chapman six months after the murder. They say he was responsible for at least two more road rage incidents after the murder. In one of them, the victim remembered his license plate number. Fox Force Peyton Yeager is live tonight with our update, Peyton. Stephen Garland, police say this suspect is connected to at least three road rage incidents, the latest just last week in Garland involving a 55-year-old woman. Garland police say that incident helped crack a murder case from October. Try to explain to the kids he's not here with us anymore. You know, my mom, obviously, you know, that was her her baby. Aurelia Moreno says she's had little sleep the last seven months knowing her older brother's killer was still out there. Thursday night, Moreno received a call. An arrest had been made in the October murder of 30-year-old Cesar Moreno Pampa. I was not going to stop until this happened. Police say Devonte Chapman, a delivery driver from Dallas, shot and killed Moreno Pampa on I-635 in Garland back in October. Moreno Pampa his final moments were captured on his passenger's cell phone. At the time, police only had this grainy image and the suspect possibly driving a black Kia Sorento. I know it won't bring him back, but at least I know he's not going to be out there, you know, committing other crimes just like he did after what he did to my brother. According to Garland Police, Chapman worked for the independent contractor Flex, which delivers for Amazon. While on the job, police say Chapman continued a path of violence. Uh, he had two more road rage incidents. On the second one, uh, just so I can recap that for you, he, uh, he shot at a vehicle which was occupied by a father taking his a juvenile son to school in the morning. Fortunately, the juvenile was not injured. Unfortunately, the driver of that vehicle was shot. The father survived that January attack that was also in Garland. He told police while trying to avoid a near collision, shots were fired from a black SUV. However, the victim didn't provide a clear suspect description. In May, a 55-year-old woman told police she accidentally pulled in front of a black Kia Sorento in a Garland neighborhood at Casalita Drive in South 1st Street. When she then stopped for a cat, the woman told investigators the male driver got out, chambered around, and pointed a firearm at her. The woman was able to provide police with a license plate number. And that was the, the tip, the break, that we were able to go ahead and develop an actual tag. Same type of vehicle, which tied everything together for us. Garland investigators used flock cameras, security footage, and cell phone GPS to place Chapman at all three crimes. Once in custody, Chapman admitted his involvement in all three, but denied he was the aggressor. Who knows if he would have kept doing it. Moreno says she couldn't imagine another family feeling her pain. Friday, that feeling includes a slight sense of relief. You know, it's something that we need it for the family, you know, like for my mom and just everybody. Garland police tell me they are checking with other North Texas agencies to see if Chapman is connected to any other cases. He is in jail tonight with no bond. And according to public records, Chapman was found guilty of aggravated robbery in 2016.